Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am go I'm going to discuss the problem regarding the theory which I have uh, explained in the earlier video, video where I have described that how to evaluate the maximum eccentricity of the section and um, the corresponding minimum pre-stressing force expression. So let us solve a problem today. So here it is given a post-tensioned pre-stress beam mean a pre-stress beam which is tensioned after the casting of beam of a rectangular section 250 millimeter wide is to be designed for an imposed load or live load of 12 kilonewton per meter uniformly distributed on span of 12 meter the stress in the concrete must not exceed this stress 17 newton per millimeter square in compression or point 1.4 newton per millimeter square in tension at any time and the loss of pre-stress may be assumed to be 15 percent calculate the minimum possible depth of the beam and for the section provided the minimum pre-stressing force and the corresponding eccentricity we will ignore this question right now so by providing all the data of the beam, we have to evaluate the possible depth of the beam and the minimum pre-stressing force which can be applied to that beam. So here the imposed load is given as 12 kN meter. Here this constant is 0.85 why 0.85 because here 15 percent of loss has been given so it will be 1 minus 0.15 why 0.15 because this is 15 divided by 100, 100 uh, in 100 so it will be 0.85 what was the width of the section or the breadth of the section it is 250 millimeter here for tension at the time of transfer as well as at the time of working load it should not exceed this value and same for the compression it should not exceed this value so having all this data we will now evaluate the possible depth of the beam and the minimum pre-stressing force corresponding to the eccentricity so now what will be the live load moment it will be m equal to w l square by 8 as we know that the maximum bending moment of the beam due to the udl at the center is w l square by 8 where w is given as 12 kilonewton per meter into this is l this is the span given here 12 meter divided by 8 so the live load moment will be 216 kilonewton meter so here what will be the dead load moment it will be also denoted as a w l square by 8 where this w we have to calculate because it has not been given so what will be the uniformly distributed load at this section this will be area into the unit weight of concrete which is given as this area into unit weight of concrete into l square this l square divided by 8 here just because this b is given in millimeter that's why and the h should be in a millimeters that's why we have divided this 10 to the power 6 here so here h is unknown b is known so we will get this expression in terms of h so we can put also uh, we can um, also get the expression in the term of bh without putting the value of b i mean so what should be the range of stresses at the bottom fiber 
so from this expression as we have discussed it earlier from this we can evaluate the range of stress at the bottom fiber where this loss is given as 0.85 into fct what is fct here given it is 17 newton per millimeter square this is nothing but a compression at the time of transfer and here what is ftw this is the stress at tension uh, stress intention at the time of uh, at the time of working load so this is minus minus 1.4 newton per millimeter square just because this two stress is implying the different composition of uh, stress activity like as compression and tension here this tension is represented as a minus sign so the range of stresses at bottom fiber comprising this limits of the stresses which is given in the question and after the loss of pre-stress will be 15.85 Newton per millimeter square. So now what will be the minimum section modulus? So the minimum section modulus at the bottom fiber which we have already discussed in our uh, previous lecture so it was zb greater than equal to mq plus 1 minus this constant for representing the pre-stress after losses into mg divided by fbr well here we have already evaluated this fbr mean the range of stress at the bottom fiber in the time of rupture so representing the rupture of the section so uh, by putting all the values corresponding values here where zb can be represented as a bh square by 6 which is nothing but z is also denoted as i by y where i is bd cube by 12 divided by y is d by 2 so this d d cancel up cancels out and this cancels out and it comes to be b h square by 6 so here we know this h term is unknown so we will get a second order degree equation here after solving this we got this h to be 580 millimeter so this amount of depth is enough suitable to resist those those range of stresses in tension and compression as well as resisting that udl uniformly distributed load so now for the section where we have already got the value of h the area should be this i mean multiplying this two thing so now we can um, also evaluate the value of zb and zt which is bh square by 6 and what is the self weight so the self weight moment here will be this term into b into h which we have evaluated by solving this expression so this is 6 to 5 into 10 to the power 5 newton millimeter so now the total moment should be mq plus mg the live load the moment due to live load and the moment due to gravity load or dead load which is this so now we will um, evaluate this expression f f superior mean at the top where we have already discussed about this expression by putting all the value where this is nothing but f t representing ftt which mean the stress of the section at the tension in the time of transfer so this is given as minus 1.4 minus mg we have evaluated this we will put this value here and zt is 14 into 10 to the power 6 millimeter cube so putting all the corresponding value we 
got this F SU uh, subscript SUP and F INF to be minus 5.9 Newton per millimeter square and 22 Newton per millimeter square. So now we have got the stresses in the section which will be occurred due to that UDL that maximum amount of stress at the tension and the compression and after the loss of the pre-stress at any time. So we have evaluated this and the minimum and now we will evaluate this minimum pre-stressing force. In this case the minimum pre-stressing force will be determined by this expression. So we will put all the value of here area here we have evaluated this value here and just we have took the common out of this expression. So 22 minus 5.9 mean this minus this into that Zb and Zt equal so into 14 into 10 to the power 6 divided by Zb plus Zp which, which will be 28 into 10 to the power 6. So the minimum pre-stressing force is given by 1170 kilonewton and what will be the corresponding eccentricity? It will be evaluated by following this expression. So here we will also put all the value of Zt, Zb, F in minus F sub divided by area into F sub into Zt plus F inf into Zb. By uh, putting all the values over here, we will get the corresponding eccentricity of the section. Mean, mean this should be the minimum eccentric height of that particular beam with all those datas given for that particular section. So this is the whole problem as you can see this problem can be solved without using the IS code. So this is a very simple problem if you practice this you will definitely able to solve at your exam time. Thank you for watching this video.